Hey, what's up guys? Lou Kessler here, serial entrepreneur and co-founder of the brand new travel adventure club called Watabu. Maybe you've seen it online. I've been getting unbelievable amounts of messages on Facebook and on Instagram asking me what it is and what the details are. And so rather than getting on the phone and talking to all of you guys individually, I figured I'd make this quick video for you guys. And then also now you have the opportunity to share it with others so that you can educate your friends on exactly what it is as well. So guys, Watabu is spelled W-O-T-A-B-U and it's actually an acronym saying for worth talking about and our whole mission is to inspire people around the world to live a life worth talking about in their own eyes you see right now I think the majority of us are operating within an education system that kind of confines in in limits our imagination I think it was Albert Einstein who said everyone's a genius but if you have a fish judges its intelligence based on the ability to climb a tree it's gonna think it's pretty dumb, right? And that's what's happening right now within our system. You see, that's why if you go to schools and colleges, it's creating a, an environment that's not worth talking about, but more worth escaping from. And that's why drugs and alcohol are so abundant. And so what we started thinking is like, wow, what if we create an environment that allows everyone to be themselves, that encourages people to define what life means to them, and then provides them with a platform where they can actually gain the time and financial freedom in order to actually make that dream become reality. And with this intention in mind, Watabu was born. And so guys, Watabu really offers its members three different things. Number one is access to wholesale inventory on travel so that young people and adults alike can travel without breaking the banks. Number two is it gives you access to a gamified adventure club and an incredible and incredible culture and community of like-minded individuals who are committed to going out there and leaving this world a better place. People who realize there's more to life than just going and working a job. They don't want to just exist they truly want to go out there and live and they're committed to growing themselves their skills their mindset and as well as others in the community in order to become the person they need to become which will allow them to live the life they want to go out there and live and then number three is an extremely extremely unique ambassador program that allows you with five to ten hours per week to actually go and create an additional source of income by being your own boss working on your own time we have a proven plan that's absolutely, absolutely incredible. You see, guys, at 19 years old, um, I was lost. You know, I was in a fraternity. I was, I was doing well from the world standards. I got great grades. I was in the business school in the Honors College at Michigan State University, and um, and that was cool. You know, I was partying all the time. I was having fun. But to be honest, deep down, I was scared because I saw life as 80 years. And I was always told that these four years of college were going to be the time of my life. So I better live it up and have fun and make all these memories, which turned out to be lack there of memories and all this kind of stuff. And um, I started thinking, and I was like, I was like, why, why did I do that? Why did I party? Why did I drink? Because, and the realize the re the realization I had was because I knew that right when I graduated, real world starts. Real world. That means like 40 years of working a job, 40 years of sitting in an office, and I was just like terrified of that you know I thought five ten years into the future and to be honest they always talk about that light at the end of the tunnel I didn't really see that light and so I was looking for something I was desperately searching and um, thank God that I ended up meeting a mentor who was 25 years old and he was making forty thousand dollars a month and he didn't have no college degrees he had no previous business experience he had no sales experience no anything he just figured this out he worked on it and um, and he made it happen and he introduced me to an industry that completely changed my life and it's so funny looking back to it because when I first heard about it I actually made fun of it I actually said it was stupid I actually said it was dumb the reason being is that it's human nature to actually reject things that we don't understand and because I was in the business school I thought I understood business I studied venture capitalism I studied you know dot coms I studied e-commerce I studied um, real estate I studied franchises and all these different business models that are there and um, and I never and I never and I also studied this business model the business model they introduced me to was network marketing and I and I looked down upon it because it was frowned on you know and I was like oh that's what people do who don't do real business you know and so I made fun of it but Four months later, um, I was in a situation where I actually got in trouble for drinking underage. I owed some money to my parents because they helped me out with the lawyer, and I was desperate. And so I went to him. I was like, "Just tell me what this is, you know." And um, and he started telling me. And to be honest, I was so skeptical. I went home three days and I studied the heck out of this. Literally, didn't leave my room. All right, because I was looking for the flaw. I was like, "Cause when I do something, I do it, you know, like I do it." And I wanted to figure out the flaw. Why that one thing that wasn't going to make it work? Where I was insustainable, illegitimate, immoral. And I started studying the history of this network marketing industry. And I started with the size of it, you know. And I found out it was a two hundred billion dollar industry with a B billion. To put that in perspective, some people are like, "Oh, billion." Do you know the difference between a million and a billion? 
Think about this. How long ago do you think a million seconds was? A million seconds. 12 days. Now how long ago do you think a billion seconds was? 32 years. <laughs> That's the difference between a million and a billion. So this industry, 200 billion, is bigger than the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, and the MLB combined. And I heard that it created more millionaires than anything else other than professional athletics. And so I was like, wow, if this is so big and people are becoming so successful, why does it have such a bad rep? And so I started, started to study specific companies within the industries. You know, I started studying like, you know, the Mary Kays and the Avons and the Amways. And I started to realize these are billion dollar companies like Amway, $12 billion in sales. You know, Red Bull does $2 billion in sales. So this company was six times the size of Red Bull. And I was like, wow, if the industry is so big and these companies are so big and people are finding so much success, why does it have such a bad rep? And that's when it hit me. This industry started gaining traction in the 80s and 90s when it really started to get big. And guess what they didn't have back then? Cell phones, computers, YouTube, technology. They didn't have any social connectivity. So what would happen, and, and by the way, network marketing, the only difference between network marketing and traditional companies is they just pay for you know, instead of billboard ads and TV commercials, they pay for people to talk about their product. So they pay for word of mouth advertising versus traditional advertising. And so then what would happen is these people would sit down in the 70s and 80s, they'd show them a product, they'd try the product, they'd like a product, and they'd be like, hey, you know, you can actually get paid for sharing this product with your friends. And people are like, wow, this is a great idea. And then the person who sat down with them would sign that person up and then leave. And then they'd never hear from the person again, unless maybe a letter through the mail, right? And, and it wasn't because that person had bad intentions and wanted to screw them, but the issue was that the technology wasn't there. And so people felt like they got screwed. But now, I realize with the social connectivity that we have, we have access to unlimited information. You can get anything you want on YouTube. Everyone in the world is a phone call away, right? And so now with technology, I'm like, this, this, this industry is actually coming to fruition. And I started studying trends. I started realizing that a lot of the jobs were going away. Right now, statistics show that half of college graduates, according to Forbes, half of college graduates are graduating either unemployed or underemployed after graduation with an average of over forty to fifty thousand dollars of student loan debt. Forty to fifty G's, and half of them are getting a job. Why? Outsourcing and technology. A lot of our jobs are being shipped overseas or being re replaced by computers. And so as that happens, people are forced to search for additional ways to create income. And with that being said, network marketing is right there. And so I started to come to all these realizations at 19. I was like, oh my gosh, I know something other people don't know. And this is going to be a huge trend in the next 5 to 10 to 15, 20 years. This is going to be taught in schools. This is going to be big. And so I was like, if I get to work now, I can align myself ahead of this trend and benefit accordingly. And so that's what I did. You know, and by the time I was 19 or by the time I was 22 years old, I was seeing checks of twenty, thirty thousand dollars in a month. You know, I got a, I bought a seventy-two thousand dollar Mercedes. I got, you know, a fourteen thousand dollar Rolex. All of this stuff. But to be honest, I, I wasn't happy. From the outside looking in, I was living the dream life. I had friends all over the world. I was speaking on stages in front of tens of thousands of people. I had more money than I knew what to do with. You know, but I wasn't happy. And I tried to figure out why. What is it? And I realized that my happiness doesn't come from material items. My happiness comes from connection, comes from memories, comes from love, comes from growth, comes from contribution. And it comes from going out there and doing cool things with cool people in cool places, right? And that's what I wanted to go out there and do. And so in the future, in the past, when I built this company, all right, it was with like a health and wellness product. And I'd be like, what do you want to do if time and money were an issue? And everyone would be like, I want to travel. And then I'd be like, all right, awesome. Sell this you know, energy drink or this protein shake. And if you do it long enough, you'll eventually be able to travel, right? And so when we started to think of Otabu, we were like, wow, what if we can cut out the middleman? What if we can just make travel be our product and have people actually make their dreams a reality right when they start without making money? And boom, Watabu was born. So guys, diving into those three things that Watabu does, the first thing is it gives its, its members access to wholesale inventory on travel. So I want you guys to think about um, Charter On Demand versus Netflix. What's the difference? If you buy a movie on Charter On Demand, you pay per movie, like five, six, seven bucks per movie. If you buy it on Netflix, you get unlimited movies, but you pay a monthly membership. We are like a Netflix of travel. You see, if you go and, and you book, let's say Expedia or Travelocity, how it works is two people are getting paid in that transaction. Expedia and Travelocity are getting paid, and the resort or airline or whatever you're booking through is also getting paid. But when you book through Watabu, 
the only person that's getting paid is the resort. And so what that means is that oftentimes you're going to be getting a cheaper price versus booking on those other on those other on those other sites. And so a couple of testimonials of this guys, my good friend Caitlin Court actually booked a trip to France 2 weeks before her flight left. She saved $600 by booking it through Watabu versus Expedia. My good friend David Roden, his family went on vacation to the Caribbean, saved over $1,000 by booking it through Watabu versus the Caribbean, but or versus uh, Expedia, excuse me. But don't take my word for it. I want you guys to go check this out. You know, we have a free seven day trial where if you check this thing out for seven days, you can look at it and you can see how great these deals are. Go to Watabu.com, look at these comparisons. It's the real deal, guys. And so the second thing that we offer is, is a very unique community. We actually created a gamified adventure club that cultivates our community. And again, these people that are a part of this community are different. They're unique. They're the thinkers. They're the doers, right? They're the, they're the, they're the artists. These are people who realize there's more to life than just going and getting a job. They're committed to growing, all right? And what we did is we created a gamified adventure club, actually online and offline competitions that cultivate that community. Our online competitions are very simple. Every month, we have a theme of the month. Our first month, it was uh, trick shots. This month, it's the mannequin challenge. And so what happens is you get in teams of four to eight people, and you film yourself doing things falling underneath that theme of the month. You then upload that video online at watabu.com. People go online, and they then vote for what video is the most watabu or the most worth talking about. And if your video gets the most votes, then you and your team actually went a vacation. So our first vacation, our first trip was actually a five day stay at an all inclusive resort down in the Caribbean. And so these are serious prizes and every single time there's a prize, it's always a vacation and it's the real deal guys. And so the other thing that we do is we have offline competitions. And so in select markets where we have over 25 members of Watabu in that market, People get together once a month and we have our Watabu weekends. And every month we have a different game, a different competition or a different tournament. And um, and it's awesome. You know, our, our first month we did a uh, we did a dodgeball tournament. Our second month we did a bubble soccer. You guys ever seen that where you get these big old balls and they run and you're like, boom, smack each other. It's awesome. Um, we did one at Michigan State. We, uh, we had over 180 people in it. It was absolutely fantastic. And uh, this month it's humanitarian. It's charity. You know, we're going down to Detroit. We're filling up backpacks with like deodorant and non-perishable foods and all these things and we're going to go give it to the homeless. And so we have these different events that are really cool that just, again, bring people together. You create memories, you make new connections and you expand your network and it's really, really cool. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. And I don't see there's any reason why that shouldn't be happening on every college campus all across the world. All right. And this is just the beginning and it will be, trust me, it will be. Um, and the last thing that we offer people is a really, really unique ambassador program. We have a plan where if you invest five to 10 hours per week, you can actually create an additional sort of income on top of what it is that you know you're already doing and how does it work you're probably asking and the best way to think about it is is to think about a franchise model where if you want to start a McDonald's which by the way cost you a million dollars all right one time and then not counting your you know your monthly fees your monthly overhead but let's say you start a McDonald's and you know how do you make money you get paid when people come into your McDonald's and they buy food um, and the more people that come in the more food that they buy the more money you make well, that's the same thing way with Tabu works, but instead of owning a physical building, you get your own website, right? Your first name, last name, .watabu.com. And every time you tell someone about Watabu and they go to your site and they purchase a package, depending on the package that they purchase, you're going to go get paid for that. We have three different packages. We have a traditional membership for a $50 one-time fee, um, $30 a month, and that just gives you access to the wholesale inventory and to our community and adventure club. Um, we also have a junior package, which gives you access to a three-day vacation. You actually purchase a three-day vacation for uh, 250 bucks, And we also have a senior package where you're actually purchasing three vacations for $500. One seven-day vacation for and to one of 50 different luxury resorts all across the world. And then two three-day vacations. And you can give these vouchers away as gifts or whatever you want. Or you can use them for yourself. It's up to you. And so depending on what package people buy when they go to your website – you're gonna go get paid. But the genius behind this is this. So imagine again you own that McDonald's and you wanna make more money. What do you do? You open up five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 other McDonald's all across the country. And now you don't only get paid when people come into your one McDonald's, but you get paid when people go to all 40 of them, right? It's called leveraged income is the technical term. Well, guess what we can do? With Watabu, if you help other people open up their own websites and you help them create sales, you're not only going to get paid for people who go to your personal website, but now you're going to get paid an override commission on all the sales that you create through all the other websites that you help start. 
right? Just like a franchise model. And so what this does is give you leverage. But here's what's so great. If you own a McDonald's, what's your target market? What, like, you know, 15, 20 miles? People aren't going to drive three hours to, to come to your McDonald's, right? But with this, what's your target market? Anyone who has Wi-Fi, right? It's the internet. And so you pay less to get it started, way less, like way less, and you have a higher income earning potential, in my opinion, you know, from logic, logic, from a logical perspective. And so guys, it's an incredible opportunity. It's something that's just getting started and it's something that can be compared, um, you know, to, to a gym membership. Because people ask me, what's the catch? The catch is you gotta work. You know, we have a plan where it doesn't matter how much money you wanna make. Um, you know, just like a gym membership. If you wanna lose 10 pounds, I'll give you a certain diet and workout routine. If you wanna get six pack abs, I'll give you a different diet and workout routine. But I know, that if you follow this, you're going to get the results. Same thing with this. You want to make an extra $500 a month? I'll give you a specific plan. You want to make $100,000 a year? I'll give you a specific plan. But guess what? Nothing's guaranteed. You got to come in. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the time. But I can tell you this. If you do put in the time, you will see the results, just like a gym membership. So the question you got to ask yourself is, do you want more in life? Do you want more, you know, connections? Do you want, you know, more growth, more skills? Do you want more money? Do you want, you know, to travel and more freedom? And if the answer is yes, what are you doing about it? Right? Because in order for things in our life to change, we have to change things in our life. This was a change that I made and it changed my life, guys. You're going to be seeing this all over the country and all over the world. And if you're seeing this this early in the game, it's a blessing. It truly is. Get back with the person that sent you this. Ask them any questions, comments, observations, concerns you may have, and you can take comfort in the fact that there's an answer to every question. I'll leave you with the three questions my mentor left me with. He says, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? And if not this, then what?